Hello, dear friends. My name is Shiran. I'm a musician from Israel. I played the handpan more than 10 years. And I'm also an artist, photographer, videographer, a poet, an actor, and a little bit of the rest, musical producer, event, and so and so. At the moment, I'm the owner of the house of the handpan, or should we call it the home of the pan in Israel. It's here in my house. It's a venue for concerts. It's a studio and a place for gatherings, sharing the spirit of love and creativity. The last days has been very, very, how should I say, catastrophic. Israel, it, Israel is in a state of war for its survival, like it's always been. Around 1,400 people were massacred and slaughtered, which is very, very traumatic. Nothing happened like this since the Holocaust. And it's important that the world will understand. And now I'm going to give you a deep review, a deep point of view. So the state of Israel is going through a really traumatic phase. And even though the government is very disconnected from what's happening and not responding in the right way, the people are strong and united and connected and definitely doing their work for one another and showing charity and caring and loving and a really good spirit. Yeah. And I would like to give now a little bit of a deep understanding of what's happening. I'm not talking about politics or something like that. I'm talking about more from a spiritual point of view. Even in the times of the Bible, all the prophets were saying the same. The enemy and the problem is not outside. It's not the Hamas. It's not the Nazim. It's not Pharaoh. And it's not the Illuminati or the New World Order that is rising now. And of course, those of you who understand, understand that this is exactly like 9-11. It's another step from the new world order. And this is the physical aspect. Let's go deeper. Let's go into the deeper reason why this is really happening. So, all the times, all the prophets in the Bible, before the first and the second temple, they were saying it very clearly, very simply. The enemy and the problem is not outside. It's in here, in us. The state of humanity, the moral state of the people of Israel is very low, like in Sodom and Gomorrah. Morality and all the good values are really away. And of course, we all feel this in our modern times. We know when, when, when values like justice, um, caring for one another, please forgive my English, it's not so good. And I can't always find the exact words which I'm looking for in English. So, the problem is always inside. The problem is not outside. Once humanity morals starts to go down and we don't really love one another and treat one another the way we should, the moment we start to go away from the path of God, from the true path, from the right path, so all those enemies appear naturally. It doesn't matter if it's the Pharaoh, it's the Babylonians, it's the Nazis, it's the New World Order, it's all the same story, different names of darkness. I hope you can understand this concept. The problem is not outside, it's in here. Once we do the inner work, once we do the inner work which we're supposed to do, all those things will be vanished the same way they are appeared. 
Yes. This is the spiritual point of view about things. Even though we have a serious problem here in Israel, and we are an island, you know, surrounded by enemy countries, which really don't want us here. So from one side, this has been really unbelievable, devastating sorrow and pain, and a true holocaust. And from the other way, it's an awakening to really see who we are dealing with. Because let me tell you, as a typical Israeli, in the last 20 years or so, we've been brainwashed into this Western ideas, modern concepts, you know, a bit Christian morality of giving, you know, the other cheek when it's very clear now that the Palestinians are talking in a very different language. People were really slaughtered, children, babies, all people that has amnesia. We have seen brutality that we haven't seen from the Holocaust times, you know. Pure, true evil. I hope you can understand this. And this is really hard. There is a train of funerals going here and there. And in those times of pain and sorrow, the spirit of the people is shining on. A lot of helping, a lot of charity, a lot of unity, a lot of unity. Of course, it, this is not true unity. This is unity by fear, by a common enemy. But at least for a moment we have some unity here. That's all. This is a little uh, glimpse of the deeper sense of what's happening. And I hope you realize this, that. And besides this, I invite you to come visit one day at the home of the Pan. It's a very, very nice place. It's a nice villa on the beach of Israel. And sometimes I make here concerts, gathering, and all things related to the handpan. I also teach online. If you want to join in, you're welcome to contact me. I choose a specific piece. A few months ago, I came back from a few concerts in Europe and immediately I made an intuitive track. Not long ago, I came back from some concerts in Europe. I played in some festivals there. And after I landed, I created this track, which of course is intuitive music, channeled. Nothing is written. The name of the track is From the Middle Earth to the Middle East. From the Shire to the Barbed Wire. And the symbolism is very clear here. Middle Earth is a term from Lord of the Rings. The Shire is also a term from the Lord of the Rings. And it represents this ideal village some of us dream of. To live in peace, in harmony with like-minded people, in ecology with the land, and so and so. And the Middle East and Israel, the frequency here is quite aggressive. And let me tell you, inside I'm a very gentle, soft soul. It took me years to understand that. So coming back to Israel after some time in Europe is always a bit shaking. And that's the reason I call this track From the Middle Earth to the Middle East, From the Shire to the Barbed Wire. Very simple. I hope you enjoy the music and you're welcome to keep in touch. Yes. You can find my contact in the description. I don't use Facebook so much, but you can contact me via WhatsApp or Telegram or any kind of way. I wish you well. I wish us peace. I wish us to know love and kindness to one another. 
Amen. country.
of energy in the morning. <clears throat> I just landed in Israel and it's always, you know, interesting, deep, complex to adjust back to the local frequency of the Middle East. It's a hard place. Yeah.